Hello everybody, back here again for my marathon training updates. And today is July 6th, Saturday. And today is what they call a tempo run. It was a seven mile training run is what I had to do. They recommend you warm up for a mile, run your five miles at a 10.50 pace and have a mile long cool down. I've been running a little bit now, not that much. I started in January, um, so I've got myself, I've already done a half marathon in that. I've kind of feel like I've got a little bit of education on what my body likes. 10 or 11.50 pace is already as slow as I want to run. It's about the slowest I ever feel I can run comfortably. So I ran the whole thing, went ahead and knocked the whole seven miles out at that tempo pace. Um, I'm not sure exactly how far, how fast I ran because my watch died about a mile and a half into it. Uh, it's been really good before the first couple of times. It was actually telling me, hey, your battery's getting low, you got 25% left, whatever. And it was giving me warning. I'd have a couple good runs left in it. This thing gave me a warning. Literally three blocks later, the thing was dead. So I ran around town a little bit. It was getting dark, it was getting in the evening time. Um, went ahead and just, I don't know, I was out running, lost the watch. I felt just lost. I really hated everything about it. I'm. I need to learn to like ignore the watch I guess sometimes a little more because if my watch would die race day I don't want to get my head all messed up and ruin a race like my buddy did he had his watch glitched out on him for some reason at a um, 5k run and he was in his head about it so bad it drove him crazy so I need to learn to run let my body know what that feels like to run at that pace and just work it out so took off running around town I kind of knew about how far I wanted to run but I was going to go by the watch a lot I once I lost my watch I didn't know how far I was running so I ended up just out kind of just free running almost pretty much ended up heading out of town on the highway a little bit i was going to make a big loop out around the hospital and come back in and then i was going to go out the next day i was going to go back out tomorrow and i was going to take the bike out and ride it and see how close i came to my actual mileage i haven't done that yet i might still do that still but I haven't got there so definitely um it was really interesting the one ironic thing that happened because i didn't have my watch i was kind of i my watch beeps at me every mile I take a drink. That way I can kind of remember to stay hydrated. Every 45 minutes, I eat something. I was going to be out for about an hour, hour and 20 minutes, something like that at most, depending on what, how fast I ran. So I went ahead and I brought extra food with me. No big deal. Had a couple meal, or a couple snack bars and that. And completely forgot it because the watch never beeped at 45 minutes. So if for some reason you're reliant on technology, take a moment, look at your watch, or your, like your cell phone, something like that for timing. Try and remember to drink. I did actually fall in once I realized it was already hot. I was sweating like a pig. It was humid out it was dark you know kind of stuff so it was really kind of weird i did start drinking a lot more i started telling myself every time you meet a car take a small drink that way you want it's humidity you need to slow down you need to drink a lot more anyway and there wasn't a lot of cars out here so that's kind of my little reminder of it just because it's easy to get running get distracted on things the other thing i found was what they call bailing twine it's like basically jewet type stuff it's like little um, synthetic rope that they wrap around big hay bales and somehow or another it had fallen out of the back of the farmer's truck got drug on something it was being unwound i don't know why but it caught right in the headlight of a car i started winding it up so i was pulling it out as i was running i'm stretching this thing out with one hand here and stuff and looping it up and looping it up and i was doubling it up and hanging stuff and i kept trying to you know get a little more and as i was running along i literally ended up with what i'm going to guess is about three quarters of a mile of this stuff maybe more it's this giant bundle of i have no idea why i thought i wanted to pick it up Part of me thought if it got wrapped around a car axle, got wrapped around a bike, you know, chains like that, or a car drive shaft, it could actually do some damage, something, whatever. I went ahead, and for some dumb reason, I just kept winding it up, kept winding it up. And now my shoulders and my arms are sore because I'm not used to running and holding that weight of that twine, plus the weird pulling motion, like constantly trying to loop that thing up like you'd loop up an extension cord. So, kind of interesting. Um, ended up laying there on the side of the road because I didn't feel like carrying it all the way back home. I didn't know what I was going to do with it, so left it there. But that was what I ended up doing. I'm guessing my run ended up, instead of being seven miles, by my time when I left, the time when I got back, so I texted out a couple times on the run, I think I ran about 10 miles, maybe 12 miles. So hopefully I might go back. I probably won't bother telling you guys. I'll go back and look at what, how far I actually ran. doesn't really matter. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to go up to Otumwa, my buddy, and see if he wants to run with me. He ended up kind of crashing his motorcycle, so he's kind of injured himself a little bit. Hasn't ran for a few days, so I think maybe me being up there will guilt him into running a little bit. He needs to get back out and run anyway. He's healthy enough now. I need to get his butt out there doing it. So we'll see what tomorrow brings, if we're going to run alone or run together. Um, I'm hoping, part of me hopes he doesn't run with me, because then I'll be able to kind of uh, run in the evening. Once it starts getting dark, when we home, I'll stop on the side of the highway. I've got to do six miles tomorrow, seven miles tomorrow. I don't remember. i got to look at the training. He has like six miles tomorrow, like a 13, 13 pace, some crap. Super slow. Um, not liking that part of the training. But according to this training, I'm going to end up, if I stay with it, 
I'm gonna finish marathon. Uninjured is a big thing, and with a decent time. So that's my whole goal there. Um, that's how today went. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying these. Feel free to hit me up with any questions, any pointers, anything like that. I'll be happy to listen to them. Be happy to even get your personal email, maybe send you a text message off and on to kind of encourage you to get out there. You can follow me on Twitter, um, Floppy Hat Photos, also on Twitter. That right there is an easy way to find me. I do tweet out a lot of my Garmin runs. I'll tweet them back out after I'm done with them. Great way to see how I'm doing, what my tempo paces are, all that kind of thing. So that's all I've got for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Get out there and lace your shoes up.